more or less more or less telling me they don't have much else. Mirror break. Okay. I will indeed. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that one. There we go. Yes. So we have what I have dubbed non gruel wolves. It is an Esper colors, and it is probably mid rangey, maybe a little closer to aggro, but it's probably solid mid range. Uh, we have at the one drop slot, we have three Chaplain of Alms, which are so great to be just chucked into the bin, either for Celestis or Rafine or Suspicious Stowaway. Chuck that into the bin and it gives you some more ward when it comes back. And the first strike, ugh, amazing. On top of the actual ward. We also have Paladin class, which is excellent as a turn one play to just disrupt your opponents uh, just a little bit, especially control decks. Uh, it is excellent for later in the like the middle of the game when you just need to get some bigger creatures on board just buff the ones you got and then at the end of the game to just close stuff out just give something double strike when it attacks and we've already got some unblockable goodness with suspicious stowaway and we've got uh kaito shizuki in here as well so having paladin class just as a thing on board pretty solid we also have a pair of March of Swirling Mist because sometimes you just need to either one, pave the way to uh, clear out your opponent's life total in the jiffy or two, you gotta save some of your creatures from a board wipe or targeted removal. It really is that great. I almost ran, um, what was it? The the one uh phase knight that's like a three two with flash for two white and one but it's so restrictive on having all white and it doesn't give you much options as far as like phasing other people's things out or uh the alternate casting cost of exiling blue stuff which we got a bunch of blue stuff that we can exile to it just in case we need to so yeah march of swirling mist Pretty good for saving your own stuff since we've got a very creature heavy board and uh, opponents like to board wipe. Now we also have three spirited companions uh, just as extra draw just in case. Um, they're decent for sacrificing to uh, what is it? Uh, invoke despair in case you want to keep one of your other enchantments but past that it really is just an extra draw and plus it's an excellent enabler for turning night to day in the, in the cases that we need to because it might just draw into another spell and it's fairly cheap we also have one of the mainstays of the deck suspicious stowaway which is one in blue for a human rogue werewolf uh with the typical daybound nightbound on it uh it can't be blocked so we can just swing this in it is a one one so it is still pretty fragile but uh whenever it deals common damage to a player draw a card then discard a card on its flip side, it's a 2-1, still can't be blocked, and whenever it deals common damage to a player, you just draw a card. Perfect inclusion for the deck, probably the main focus, more or less. But uh, I've desperately wanted a deck where this card is useful, and it's certainly useful. Having Rafine to be able to uh, buff this thing as it attacks, being able to buff it with Paladin class or Wedding Announcement, just as we go, mwah, I love it. I love it so much. And honestly, either side is good. Like I said, we can chuck the Chaplain of Alms to the loot ability if we need to, um, but past that, it's just a solid card. We have three Vanishing Verses, which is an instant for a white and a black to just exile target monocolored permanent. Now, most of the big threats in standard right now are monocolored. You got your um, big old, what is it, Kraken thing that, um, Hull, Hull Breacher, Hull Breacher Horror, which is horrifying. You've got, um, the Eskis Chariot, which is bringing in cat tokens, and more like stuff like Wedding Announcement and a bunch of mono black Planeswalkers and stuff. Those are the biggest threats you're going to need to be able to get rid of, and this will do it pretty easily. Uh, so we got three of those. We also have a single Meat Hook Massacre, because sometimes you just need to wipe the board. Not a lot, though. Um, which is why it's only a one of. 
we do have swirling mist we can save our stuff when we play this if we need to um a lot of the times we're gonna have a pretty full to middling full hand so being able to march with swirling mist with a main hook massacre on the stack is gonna be pretty okay and again i'm not 100 percent sold on this we're probably going to be um modifying the deck as we go but this is a solid at least one of inclusion i think we go on to the three drop slot which is where the big meat of our deck is we've got three brutal gathars i did have four on here at one point but it felt a little bit like overkill and i could have used that slot for something extra so we've only got the three on here right now still pretty excellent it's got the banisher priest text on it where it enters and exiles the thing until it leaves it's got daybound nightbound uh and on the flip side it is a 3-3 with a first strike with ward for pay three life we got a lot of ward in this deck and i love it forcing people to have extra cost to target your stuff wow beautiful punished for trying to beat me <laughs> but yeah also when it transforms back to the daybound side it'll exile another thing oh you gotta love it you gotta love it we also have wedding announcement which is just one of the most solid cards in white right now three mana for an enchantment at the beginning of your end step uh, you put an invitation counter on it. Then if you attack with two or more creatures, you draw a card. Or if you did not attack with two or more creatures, you get a token. So that option is going to be especially good for us. Because we're going to be pretty consistently attacking. Generally with at least a suspicious stowaway or like a ninja token or something. Because those are unblockable. Um, and so we'll probably be getting a lot of these human tokens. Which are great for just blocking big things while we're still going. Uh, otherwise, we'll just draw more cards, which is exactly what we need. Uh, then on the third turn, when it gets that third invitation counter on it, it just turns into an anthem. So, buffs all of our unblockable stuff, buffs all the tokens we've been getting, further buffs from Paladin class. Beautiful. We have two copies of Graveyard Trespass. This is another one where I had more copies in the deck in previous iterations, but that felt like too much. It was weird. Uh, so, it's a 3-3 three, three werewolf for 3. Uh, being two and a black and with the usual daybound nightbound uh, It has ward discard a card so in order to target this thing with anything They got to discard a card from their hand So they're gonna automatically two for one themselves with this thing When it enters the battlefield or attacks exile up to one target card from a graveyard If a creature card was exiled this way each opponent loses a life and you gain a life So it's a great way to stem the bleeding a little bit uh, It'll help get rid of stuff from graveyards that uh, reanimator decks want to get or that um, other like the snow decks that still use blood on the snow can get rid of stuff there or we can just forego any of the drain effect and get uh, instant and sorceries out of the bin for decks like uh, the bombardment enchantment deck um, it's it's just a solid card but I three felt like a little too much four felt like way too much so we just got a couple of these in here we'll, we're generally going to get to at least one of them now we have two of kaito shizuki it is a three mana planeswalker for one a blue and a black comes in with three loyalty at the beginning of your end step if it entered this turn phases out which means at the beginning or which means it's treated as if it doesn't exist until your next upkeep Plus one, draw a card, then discard a card. Unless you attack this turn, we've got some unblockable stuff. We're probably going to be attacking. So the plus one is generally going to be draw a card. Minus two, create a one, one blue ninja creature token with this creature can't be blocked. So it just gives us another unblockable creature. And it's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we're trying to use. And then minus seven, we're probably never going to get to this, but just in case. You get an emblem with, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a blue or black creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. The only blue or black cards or creatures that we got are the Stowaway, the Trespasser, uh, two Rafines, and a Toulouse. So we're not going to have a lot to get, generally, but generally enough. He's meant for a ninja deck, but having unblockable stuff anyway, pretty solid. Now we have two Obscura Charms, and... This is another one that felt like a bit too much because it is kind of limited in what it does. Uh, it's one, it's a white, a blue, and a black for an instant. Choose one, return target multicolored permanent with uh, mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. 
Now, the only ones that apply to that for us are Toulouse, Rafine, and Kaito. So we're probably not going to be hitting that too much, but it does allow us the ability to discard a Rafine or a Toulouse or a Kaito in case we need to with uh, with the the idea that we're, we might be able to get them back. There's also counter target instant or sorcery spell, another way to get around board wipes or just counter something that absolutely needs to be taken care of. This is kind of pretty limiting on the casting cost though, so you got to make sure you got that up. I'm probably going to be toying with the mana base here a bit. I've got just about every one of these um, rare dual lands that I have of them in here. I wish I had more of the white or blue, and I might end up spending some of my rare or wild cards on it. We'll see. I'm not the best when it comes to three mana uh, or three color mana bases, but I, I can try and figure it out. And then the final uh, mode is destroy target creature with, or planeswalker with mana value three or less. This is probably going to be the most common use of this one, just as an additional removal. Um, I mean, that's about it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I wish it had the broker's mode of just draw two cards instead of one of the other ones. But I mean, I can't complain too much. It's very controlly and reanimatory, which is fine. We also have two of Rafine Scheming Seer, which is another tent pole for this deck, but I couldn't find a solid argument to have a third copy in. So, Rafine Scheming Seer, white, blue, black for a 1 4 Legendary Sphinx Demon with flying and ward 1. Already has ward on it, so this is beautiful. Protects itself and it has evasion. Whenever you attack, target attacking creature connives X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. So, for example, if we. Turn one, Chaplain of Alms. Turn two, Suspicious Stowaway. Turn three, Rafine, and attack with the first two. We can put up to two plus one plus one counters on Suspicious Stowaway, and we get to loot twice. Or I guess loot two, essentially. It, it gets us filtering exactly what we need, and it buffs our creatures. Oh, love it. Love it. Now we have a single to lose Clever Conductor. I only have the one copy, which is why we have the one copy in here, but I don't think I want too many in here anyway. It's a 3-1 Legendary Human Rogue for a blue, an Azorius Hybrid, and a Demir Hybrid. So you can play this with all blue, or you can play this with a white and two blue, or a black and two blue, or a white, blue, and a black. Pretty variant on what you need to cast it. Anyway, when it enters, it connives, so you'll loot, and then if you discard a non- land card it'll get a plus one plus one counter but the important part is whenever you discard one or more cards exile them from your graveyard win to lose dies put the cards exiled with it into their owner's hand so anything we discard to either conniving with rafine or looting with suspicious stowaway or looting with the celestis when the day and night cycle changes or even channeling those will be tucked straight into into Toulouse, and then when she dies, get them all back. Important thing to note, uh, exiling a creature does not mean they die, because dying means this creature has gone from the battlefield to the graveyard. So if they go from the battlefield to exile zone, they don't, that ability doesn't trigger. Luckily, uh, being multicolored means she gets around Vanishing Verse, um, but there's still Farewell to deal with and other exile stuff like um if she gets flickered she's not gonna give us our cards back but it's a one of kind of situational anyway now we've got two of the celestis uh three kind of muddies up the deck um and four is absolutely out of it because it's legendary and it's, at the end of the day it's just a mana dork or a mana rock three mana Legendary Artifact. If it's either day or night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. Uh, tap, add one of mana of any color. Excellent to help us fix our three color mana base. You can pay three and tap it, and if it's night, it becomes day. If it's day, it becomes night. Excellent for when we need to flip our Suspicious Stowaway to just drawing a card, or if we need to flip our Moon Ridge Brute to exile something. Excellent to give us control over the day and night cycle, which is... <laughs> the sleeves for the deck are the Celestis sleeves. Woohoo! finally have a, or have a place to use them um anyway when it becomes day or becomes night you gain a life bit more extra uh stemming the bleeding against um a lot of aggro decks or other uh things that are trying to plink our life down 
then you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Another way to get us to loot, to search through stuff that we need, um, and it also feeds into to lose if we need to. Really, it is just a perfect slot in our deck to accelerate our mana, gain us a little bit of life. It does everything we want it to. We also have a single copy of Legion Angel because we only need one copy because we can have the other three in the side. So a two and two white for a four three flying angel warrior. When it enters, you may reveal a card you own named Legion Angel from outside the game, put it into your hand, basically put them from your sideboard into your hand. And that's kind of basically our top end. Um, once we've got a Legion Angel on the board, we've probably won the game already. With our anthems like Paladin Class, Wedding Announcement, and our already unblockable creatures in the Stowaway, in Kaito's uh, tokens, we're probably going to be plinking them down pretty hard. Once we get Legion Angel down, it might just be the end of the game anyway. Past that, our mana base, we have one each of the creature lands, being the Cave of the Frost Dragon, which becomes a 3-4 Flyer, uh, Hall of the Storm Giants, which becomes a 7-7 Ward 3, or Hive of the Eye Tyrant, which becomes a 3-3 Menace that can exile a card from Graveyard on attack. I've got a single Rafine's Tower, because I'm not made of wild cards and I'm trying to save them. Uh, three Shipwreck Marsh, which is the, um, what is it? it's not Czech Land. Was it Tango Land? Something like that. Um, but Demir Color that. We got two of the Demir Pathways. We got all four of the Orzov. Uh, I'm going to call them Tango Lands. Takes two to Tango. Uh, we've got three of the Orzov Pathways. A single one of the Azorius Pathways, because again, I'm not made of wild cards. And oh, we got two Hive of the Eye Tyrants, because I mean, the extra exile is pretty important. We might need to add more blue lands to the deck. Uh, we have two islands, two planes, just in case we get Field of Ruin. Oh, also, Cycling is also discarding the card, so Cycling will get Rafine to, or, uh, to lose to get it tucked under her. But yeah, that is the deck. I've run this pretty reliably so far, and I'm kind of just excited to see how this works now. So, let me double check, make sure everything is going just the way I want it to go. Beautiful. And now, hold on, let me get OBS back up. Perfect. Alright. Let's get into some games, why don't we? Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. There we go. Alright. Go into... Standard ranked with my non gruel wolves. I'm, I'm just so excited. Like, so far, this deck, like I said, has been doing pretty okay. Um, record wise, so far, but I don't know if I've just been fortunate who I'm playing against. I think it is 24 lands, by the way, as well. And I don't know if I'm just fortunate on who I'm playing against. Maybe I need more white lands because I'm ending up. I've been having a lot of hands that start like this, but I think this is fine because we do have Suspicious Stowaway for turn two. Kaito on turn three, we can cast. So yeah, this will work out. Mm. Mars, hello. Uh, if we don't draw an untapped land, we'll just drop the Takanuma. I have been playing against a lot of other white, blue, and black decks with this one, however. Haven't played against too much red or green, so we'll see how this goes. This looks like so it's certainly a treasure deck. Might be the Rakdos one, might be the Gruul one. Another Gold Hound. Okay. Well, before anything else, let's swing in. Hopefully draw. We've got a White Land. Okay, we've got a White Land. Let us discard the Pathway then. Ganjo out and... Let's get Kaito down, I think. No secret. Get another another unblockable out. It's like Might need to counter aggro with this deck. Man. Kinda hoping we can get to another white mana soon. Also I could use an instant to be able to hold my turn, so I don't need to just uh oh it's 
Oh, gold span. Oh, boy. Well, that's going to get exiled. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was supposed to say, are they not attacking? Nope. Make treasure. Of course, they might be holding up one of the... Oh, Jawari Disruption would be pretty solid there. So let's real quick just swing in. Draw. Okay, we got a white. And I think we can drop the marsh now. Plus to draw because we're not going to do anything else with him. Ooh. Thanks. Ooh. Nope, nope, wait. Nope, nope. Not that one. Not that one. White. We're going to drop Paladin class first. So that, hopefully, this will discourage any... Oh, I was expecting a counterspell. Guess they can't play it anyway. Yeah, Paladin class. Great for limiting the opponent when it's not our turn. Do also have a Vanishing Verse, just in case you have another big threat like Goldspan. But we, this Brutal Cathar is only two toughness, so could easily get... Just like that. Yep, there you go. And now they've got five mana available again. Might take out Kaito. We'll see. Do have the option of getting the Legion Angel down to try and block against the dragon, but they've got plenty of mana at this point. They might use just to remove it. Whoops, you caught me. Okay. So Vanishing Verse is certainly an option here. And then we'll be able to play the Spirited Companion as well. Oh, so that can also tap for two, but it is a creature, so it can't tap immediately. Mind Link Mech. Okay. Interesting. Let's get Rafine down. I feel like we'll be able to get uh, a land here. So I definitely want to try and exile the dragon. Nice. Okay, not the land we wanted, but uh, we might be able to take another hit. For oh god, this is gonna hurt a lot. We're gonna discard the companion and. Probably the Celestis. Mm. We did cast a spell, so Stowaway is not going to transform. We draw a land. Okay, we did get an untapped land, so let's drop the Hive of the Eye Tyrant then. We'll get this out and hopefully exile Goldspan. Of course, they do know how now have four mana to be able to counter that with. It's gone. Mind Link Mech, though. If they've got, like, Ifrit Flame Painter, this could hurt. Because I know that combo with Mind Link Mech is pretty rough. Of course, they don't have too much in the bin except for Prismari Command for the Flame Painter. Huh? Oh, it's just a... Okay, it's just Gold Hound now. All right. Let's... We could... Let's swing in with everything. We'll put the counters on Rafine. Oh, wow. Discard three cards. Companion and two lands. We'll drop. I want to save the Vanishing Bird. Land. Okay. Um, I can't Legion Angel and hold on to Vanishing Verse, so I might just Paladin class, and then hold on to Vanishing Verse, probably do Legion Angel next turn. Depending on what they do, I'd really like to exile this Mind Link mech, because it seems to be the biggest threat. One, so any creature they put down, really, the Mind Link mech can essentially give flying in haste. 
tokens on. Okay. That's fine. Beautiful. We're just gonna go ahead and exile this thing. Now they've just got two one ones on the ground, and I think that's the end of it. They got no more cards in hand. And we've got two unblockable creatures, and they got six life. Mm -hmm. Still a monocolored permanent. Or. Oh! Oh, I see! Well done, actually! They turned it into a colorless permanent, so now it's a illegal target for Vanishing Burst. That was cool. That was really cool. However, <laughs> they've got no cards in hand. I'm just gonna go ahead. Paladin class, swing in, put the counters on you, might as well give, I don't know, you, this card three, div, I mean, yeah, that's it, there we go, okay, all right, look at that. Exactly how the deck is supposed to work. Hey, we got up to what plat three? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Mm. Okay. Well, here we go. Just keep putting them in. God, I love this deck. This deck is so cool. Uh, where is tap? I love this deck. It's just, it's just so great. And I honestly, I'm especially happy because I just, I came up with this. It's a little, little ego boost there. So this is kind of an awkward hand, but we do have Shattered Sanctum to start. So on turn two, we can get down a Chaplain or a Paladin class. Mm, but then we got the big, the doubt on whether or not we're gonna get to three. I'll take this. Because we are on the draw as well. Hello. Jetmere. This could be a bard class deck. This could be just humans. It is runes. I haven't seen it forever. But we did get, I think we definitely get Chaplain down. Because they're not going to be playing like, any spells on our turn. Brutal Cathar is going to be really useful here. Or we could even Celeste's Paladin class. Interesting. Okay. So what do they have? They've got Fable. I'm just gonna take the two. Rune of Might. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm honestly just gonna drop this pathway now. On white and... Okay. So one thing they could do next turn... Mm, think I'm gonna... Oh, they can grow really fast. Let's just get their naturalist out of here. Because we want to try and ruin their rhythm as much as we can. Oh, I should have held back the Captain of Alms against a hasty whatever. So now we've got four mana with two white available. We can start with the Legion Angel next turn, which we might need to, to counter up some aggro. They might have a way to just get rid of this Brutal Cathar to get their Naturalist back. Generous Visitor, okay. Probably Rune of Speed on it. Or Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That works too. So I'm wondering, it might be useful to get the Celestis down now. Okay, Graveyard Trespasser. Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to just get the Celestis down. What if I do that? Or I could get the Announcement and the Paladin class down now. Or I could start with the Legion Angel. 
I'm going to start with the announcement and the Paladin class so that we can start getting some tokens to go wide with. I'm not attacking. Of course... I really want to flip Cathar so that I can exile another thing, but they're probably going to get rid of it by then. What do they discard? Discard some runes? So do they already have some runes? Or... They might have the champion. Is the champion a three or four drop? I always forget. Coming transients. Okay, that's another great exile target. So the, the ward here from Chapel Shield Geist isn't going to be that important. Okay, so they're kind of starting to run out of gas. Now uh, they've got all of these things down. I say run out of gas. But, yeah. Let's just go ahead and chump block these right now. Just save my life where I can. If I could top deck removal, that would be an excellent play. Especially with as big as they're getting, as wide as they're getting. What are our options? So they've got Trample here. And this will get one, two... Two? Plus two, plus two on something. So we're going to take some hits for sure. Maybe we should just get the Legion Angel out. To start getting more creatures. Of course, that Goblin Shaman is going to be a problem. Whenever it attacks, it makes a treasure. Yep, yep. Bring up the bottom line. Make sure. Ooh, okay. Another showdown on the skulls is not what I wanted to see. Give them four more cards and an extra counter here and there and there. So we might end up double blocking one of the commies. Oh, they've got all of the runes they could ever want. Oh, it is a three drop. Oof. Yeah, I don't think we take this game. Yeah, Cause they're gonna be casting spells all day. If I I should have at some point turned it to Maybe I should have gotten the Celestis down, because they're going to be casting two or more spells every turn. Yeah, I should have gotten the Celestis down. 18, and they've got 14 power here. Let's trample. And extra 19. Okay, I can just put that in front of there. I can't kill either of these, so I'm just going to take it all. Mm, yeah, nope, that's not happening. Alright. So, that's something we're going to need to start working around, is the rune decks. That might be a weakness for us. Which is unfortunate, because those, those used to be really popular. I don't know what happened. I'm starting to see less and less of those these days. But against the runes, I think our best bet is just a lot of exile and removal. If I can try and... That's a rough start. I think I'm... Mm, I'm gonna take it. We, got, we do have two Banishing Verses. But we are on the play. Mm, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. As soon as we draw a blue land, we are solid. Whether it be turn two or turn three. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Why did they reveal? I mean, it's not like it changes much for me. They have play with fire. Is this burn? It's burn. Okay. 
In that case, they might have some stuff we need to get rid of anyway. As soon as I get a blue heavy. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one to get rid of. Just start it early. I got no mana to do that with, so it was literally just a pasty bear. Okay. I mean, that's a blue, but it's fine. At least we're still hitting our curve. Oh gosh, the Sun Champion. Kumano? Okay, yeah, that's not worth getting rid of just yet. Probably the thing they put down with it. Okay. So we got Chaplin down now. And that'll force an extra mana if they want to target it with anything. But now they, they know we missed a land drop. Okay, that is certainly worth vanishing. Get out of here before you do any damage. Mm. Ooh, that's rough. That's real rough. Uh, no attacks. Yeah, the one that needs blue. Look at it's it's so disappointing. We don't even have a fourth land to guarantee we can get the Chaplain of Alms back. Ooh. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Dealt damage by a source you controlled would die exile instead. I'm gonna take the six here. I wanna keep the turf one. Mm. Draw me something good, please. Draw me a blue. Mm. That's that's not blue. Hold back. Our chaplain's gonna get exiled. Our companion's gonna get exiled. Look at all this. I hate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just take three here. We might be able to buy a turn with the March of Swirling Mist, though, if we can draw a blue land. Yeah, no, that's not it. Oh, oh, not getting our lands hurts. It hurts a lot, but there's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can do. Okay. I'm mean, gonna just keep going. That's what we're doing today. We're doing wolf. Oh, phrasing. We're playing wolves. We're playing Esper wolves. All right. Okay. This I like. Kind of. I can... I can turn two Paladin class, because I want to drop this first, and I want this to be blue for the sake of to lose. Yeah, it's a little awkward, but it, it can still work. Mono white. Okay. This is workable. This is very workable. Let's get that down. And I Tyrant. Next turn, we got the choice of Cathar or Toulouse. Hall of Storm Giants. Oh, okay. That's uh, we got another Paladin class. I'm not that worried. Usher might just be Cathar. Or actually, wedding, wedding announcement ain't horrible either. It's a little dork with which to block. And then eventually it'll. Well, it's gonna keep getting us more and more dorks. I will 100% do the exact thing that it looks like I'm going to do. Please do something to buff it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Hall of the Storm Giants. Or I'm... Legion Angel's a little awkward here. Uh, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Toulouse out. Just to... Okay. Um... Yeah, maybe... Oh... Maybe... Ew, oh, I want to keep the Paladin class, though. Oh. 
How about Legion Angel? It's gonna be a bit until we can do the Legion Angel, so I'm gonna just tuck that under her. And now we've got another creature with which to block. Which to lose at four can very well block an Adeline. We do also have the opportunity next turn to Hive the Eye Tyrant, which we don't have day or night out yet, but at the point we do, it'll be very useful. If you want to kill to lose and give me back my Legion Angel, that's fine. God, I think this card is so nifty, especially for any deck that mains connive. It's like being able to tuck stuff under, and even if it does uh, get exiled, sometimes you got you might have sacrifice stuff to work with. Okay, okay. This is fine. I will trade the Toulouse for the Usher at this point. Yeah, why not? So that back to hand. Okay. So let's Brutal Cathar. And you know what? Might as well get the Suspicious Stowaway out as well. Um, I could Intrepid Adversary, but if it comes back on their turn, or if Brutal Cathar gets gotten rid of on their turn, then it'll just come back. Um, this is going to become an Anthem, so honestly, I'm kind of okay just getting the Human Warrior. Uh, now, nah, let's, let's just be safe. Let's just be safe. Swing in. We're going to be getting another token. And we've got our sufficient soul way out. So, next turn, we can attack with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and that'll turn to night. We don't have any way... We don't really have any way of getting rid of this portable hole unless we want to use... A vanishing verse on it which I'm not that into that idea much here we go okay let's I think we swing in first right well no let's drop our paladin class first let's drop our paladin class first to increase the cost of anything they want to cast That can't become a creature unless it, they want it tapped. We swing in with all. Oh, I know exactly what this is. This is a wandering emperor. That's what they got in hand right now. So if I had attacked with either of the wolves, would have just gotten exiled. Yep, yep, that's it. Unfortunately, they did have an extra mana to be able to pay it. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. Okay, so we get out a samurai, block there. They might get another samurai next turn. Or they might just Oh! Okay. Do you want to cast two spells in your turn, friend? I'm not too afraid of what they could do here. I don't know if I should much. Oh, right, Dane. Yeah, we have <laughs> we have one spell that's four or greater, but it's a non-creature spell that's four or greater. So I'm not worried about her at all. If you cast a second spell, show them how we greet our enemies. No second spell. Okay. We can buff the Paladin class. Oh, oops, they are attacking. I think I'm willing to take the four. I think I am. Because if memory serves, there is a combat trick at two mana for white. And I do not at all want to risk losing the Moonrage Brute. Okay, so we could get Obscura Charm, or get to lose back with Obscura Charm. If I 
buff up and swing in and they kind of have to block. Multicolor permanent incinerate sorcery spell. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Buff up with paladin class. So let's have you all go there and you go there. This is first strike, so... And those are still only four power. These are three, so it'll kill a Rydane. This can't be blocked. Iganjo. Okay. It still has first strike. Don't know what they're expecting. Yep, yep, yep. Shame scoop. I think they forgot it had first strike. <laughs> we'll take that, though. We will take that. Oh, God. Having options when you're... When the opponent is, like, pretty low on fuel, that feels good. I, I think I really like Esper for that reason. Or, like, like not Esper control, but, like, this mid-range stuff. I love this mid-range stuff. Because <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm not entirely an aggro simpleton, but also not entirely uh, a <laughs> big brain controly tryhard. This is a great hand. Turn one, Rafine's Tower. Turn two, Hive and Stowaway. Turn three, Sanctum and Kaito. Beautiful. Oh, the Valentine's Day sleeve. Look at that Boros charm. Look how charming the old Boros cherub is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hello. They went down far. Virus Beetle, okay. Uh, I'll drop the pathway. Then we hive and stow away. And if they want us to discard again, we're gonna drop a Sanctum. Or we might just get rid of the stowaway in all honesty as well. Massacre, totally. All about it. Sanctum, Kaito, and we will be making an unblockable creature. Which they have every right to get rid of if they really want to. We just need to set up some card draw. But even just looting with this guy. Oh! Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and discard the Sanctum. Why not? Okay, let's go ahead and just start ticking down Ob. I really don't want him to get anywhere close to his ultimate. Brutal Cathar. Useful. Let's get another blue out, actually. And maybe Graveyard Trespasser. Start eradicating their board a bit. They're already low on cards, so we can force them to two for one themselves if they want to get rid of this thing. Of course, if they have a land and another Meat Hook Massacre, then we're kind of boned. Uh, you know what? I'll... I'll... Your punishment is my entertainment. I want to keep the land. I want to keep it. Plus, they might have done that before they had another forced discard spell. You know, grudge. Okay! Yeah! Absolutely! Make me get rid of my Planeswalker. And then, you know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and just swing on in. So this will target... I mean, might as well make sure they get rid of Obnix and then Fatal Grudge. Sure. Just completely annihilate their bin. Now it is the night. So next turn, we can Brutal Cathar, Suspicious Stowaway to get rid of a creature. Mm hmm. Well, never mind. So we're losing out on our bin, but we're just going to keep the Suspicious Stowaway. We're... Might as well get the Stowaway down. Just to have it out. 
and force them to get rid of their yard as well. Now I could trespass her, but I feel like I don't want to dedicate or devote my everything I've got to the board just yet. I want to start drawing with the werewolf, but I'm not sure if they're going to let us get there. Yeah, go ahead. Please do. Oh, they chose not to discard? There we go! Alright! I'm okay with that. Interesting seeing a standard rank deck playing tramway station. Hmm. Okay. This is doing solid. I'm always worried when I play a deck on stream. I'm worried it might not hold out. As, like, because off stream it plays pretty good. Generally on stream, not as much. Oh, this, this scares me. This scares me a lot. Um, as soon as I get a land, I'm online. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, it might have been a bad idea. Maybe I should have played hide first in case I drew a white land. Oh, angels. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. We need to hit a land here. We need to let hit a land here. They might just drop Giada here. Yep, there she is. If I can hit a white land, I'll be happy, but any... Oh, well, I guess that's playable. And it's going to help us loot a bit. But white and black has all of the removal in the world, so they're probably not even gonna let this thing stick around. Ooh, we need our board wipe. Five. Okay. Now. Let's swing in. Okay. Loot a bit. Excellent. Um, let's drop Kaito because we can still get it back with Obscure Charm if we need to. I am happy turning it today and getting rid of something with the Obscure Charm. Uh, destroy... No, we'll, we'll let that resolve, and whatever they want to put counters on. I'm hold control here. Okay, and the, that counter. Okay, you know what? Let's just get rid of Giada, I feel like that's going to be one of the most important things to drop. Five here. Fine. Interesting. Let's see if we can get a land, maybe? Mm -mm. I wish. God, it's night, so the Brutal Cathar is not going to exile anything. We can Celestis and Paladin class, though. That'll gain us a little bit of life because this is two spells. It's going to turn to day. We can loot a bit. Hopefully get to another land. I will draw a card. Oh, we got the land. Uh, let's drop the Trespasser. We do not need that right now. Okay, so they've got four mana. There's plenty of angels at four. Meat Hook Massacre is going to be at three at most next turn, so that Valkyrie is going to stay alive. Another Aspirant. So unless they put this thing out of three... Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. We're going to take four here, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Never mind! 
I completely missed that they were going to be attacked with the aspirants as well. That is... I mean, I didn't expect them to get another aspirant out. Not that I was counting. I really should count. I don't know. I mean... I was, I was a little behind on land, but I don't want to blame it on that. You know what I mean? I'm having a lot of problems not starting with white mana. I think I'm going to need to fix that. Probably just need to splurge on some of the white blue dual lands. We're going to mulligan this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can drop the Celestis here. This is nice. Okay. White. Get the Chaplain down. Have the Clearwater Pathway on blue. Shattered Sanctum down. Turn three. We can start getting stuff out. Oh, this is the, uh... Ooh, Bellamachus Reanimator deck. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we're gonna need to start rocking it with the Graveyard Trespasser. Probably have an answer for that. What's in the bin already? Oh, yep, yeah, we are, we are yoinking that Velomachus right now. Yeah, this trespasser is probably not going to stick around. This is the kind of deck where if I played best of three, I would have the other two graveyard trespassers in the sideboard. Here's where they get rid of it. Yep, they did got a discard, which actually kind of helps them. Yep, another Velomachus. And we can't get the Graveyard Trespasser back with the Obscura Charm. Okay. Um, get Rafine. Is that Reanimate Spell? The Invoke Justice or whatever? Is that monocolored? Or no, I mean, is that 5 mana or 6? Discard Kaito. Dragon's Fire, sure. Shattered Sanctum, okay. Okay! So let us... Hmm. Might as well get the Chapel Shield Geist out now. For the sake of extra warding. We do have Obscura Charm, so if they decide... Okay, so they do have the mana for it. It's gonna take their entire turn to do that, though. We've got Celestis Obscura Charm for next turn. To be able to get Rafine back. Alright, so here comes... Oh, they don't have it yet. Oh, they don't have it yet. Okay. Celestis. Obscura Charm. Turn, Rafine. Awesome. Swinging with Chapel Shield Geist. Map X will turn to day. Okay. So they've got the two to pay. Exiling the Shield Geist. That's fine. Or I guess it's only Ward 1. Uh, yep. Well done. Take that, and I don't think we need that. No, we don't need the land. Probably need to hang on to wall. March of Swirling Mist, though. Don't go, Dragon. Good afternoon, my lord. Hey, Ride Dusty. Welcome in, my friend. Remember How is your day going train. today? I hope it's going all right. I'm going to get a bunch of life for this gold dragon now. Unless they're holding it back. But we do have Brutal Cathar for just a, such an occasion. 
update. Wow, we're draft set of this. This is actually not draft. For once, I'm actually playing standard. Believe it or not. And we're gonna go in on that Wandering Emperor. And here we're going to discard Swirling Mist so we can just get rid of her. This is a deck that good. I constructed all on me own. Turn it to night real quick. And it is literally just uh, Esper Wolves. Werewolves. Because there are pretty solid rare werewolves in white, blue, and black. I figured I might as well try them out. Swing on in. Uh, let's get let's get a big group. Let's get a big group. Ooh, ooh. We can drop those. Yes, Innistrad and Yukapeta. Make sure to get the Eye Tyrant down. That's gonna be very important. So we can start getting rid of this other Velomachus. Because they haven't quite drawn into their re- There it is! There's the reanimator spell. And now they're gonna cast anything in their library. Miria's call, okay, that's fine. But we can still, that was, actually no, I don't even need to do that on my own. I'm gonna get rid of Velmachus. Draw a card, I will draw a card. Okay, discard the Sanctum, I guess. Ooh. Here we go. Paladin class. Turn it over, and we'll, we will have three mana left. Go ahead and turn it to night. Take that. Drop the stowaway. Let me drop the stowaway. So let's maybe just the brute swing it in. I have one, and now we'll leave that at that. So even if they block with both, they won't be able to kill it. Yeah. So they need to get rid of this Brute, because it's holding two of their best cards. And if they do, which in white and red, they probably can. But if they do, then we're kind of boned. So I need to get the other Brutal Cathar down and start getting rid of their Angels. I do also need to start getting their creatures out of the bin. Fire Ignition. Okay. So that's 10 damage there. Alright, I'll just... I'll take the six. And more or less, more or less telling me they don't have much else. Mirror break. Okay. I will indeed. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that one. There we go. Yes. Oh, I'm surprised they only got to one reanimator spell. But that is a cool deck. I love that deck too. The reanimate deck. I just wish I had more. Uh, like cards to be able to build it. So I, I I have a fair amount of rare and mythic wild cards. I just hoard them. Mm. Ah. Yeah, I should. Oh, I should have put this deck list up somewhere. Mm. Oh, just Elspeth. Awesome. They must have gotten into Arena pretty early if they were able to take that name. Okay. This is acceptable. This is acceptable. I like the turn two Spirited Companion. I think I might put the Pathway on black, though, so we'll have the option for Vanishing Verse. Turn one of Fiend's Tower. Excellent. So green white might be another runes deck. In fact, I'm kind of expecting it to be runes. Okay, we got a third land. Which means I really want to get this island down for the Celestis to start flipping that Cathar over and over. Yep, yep, it is runes. It is runes. So 
so then do I get rid of this now? No, I think I give it another turn. So I've got a little bit of life to buy time with. And they don't even have their combo up. Finding Jay! Hello! How are you doing, my friend? Happy to see you here. One sec. What's going on? Okay. Um, I don't trust that I'll be able to draw a land off of the companion, so I think I'm just gonna exile Shaman real quick. Might as well get some of the damage in. If that's trample anyway, it would go straight over. Hmm. Okay, just discarding lands. Get some fuel. Probably got scalds here. Naturalist. Okay. Honestly, what I might do is just turn it to night on my turn this and, and hold up Vanishing Burst. Yep, come at me. I will accept the gate damage. Dr graduated last Friday, moving tomorrow morning. Ooh, congratulations! Happy for you, my friend. That is awesome. That is awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Let's uh, just swing in here. Some damage. Home turn. That'll turn over. Obscura charm. And... Maybe I should drop the angel. Hmm. Oh, the wedding announcement. Let's drop the angel. Somewhat hectic? Yeah. No, those, those situations usually are. Um, I'm gonna come back to you. Need to pack some more. Just gonna grab some coffee and listen. Hell yeah, we love it. We'd love to have it here. I think I'm just gonna... They haven't cast any spells yet. At the optimal chance, I'm gonna get rid of the Kami. Rune of Might. Okay. That's gonna make a big Naturalist. Which we can also just Obscura Charm the Naturalist, but I think we exile the Kami on this turn. That's their second spell. Excellent. So maybe we... Maybe we do get rid of the Naturalist now, then. Okay, so now they can't cast their stuff for free. But they might have a land in hand. We're at 10. They can cast that for 1 if they have a land, which they might. Okay, they don't. Okay. Excellent. So we are going to exile... Something that doesn't have an ETB. Probably just the Kami. I will take that. Draw. And we will absolutely discard the Chaplain. This is 100% why this is here. But the opponent does not have many things that they're going to be... Uh... Yeah. If I do this, that takes 4 mana. We do get to loot. Um... I'm just going to drop the wedding announcement. Hold on to uh, Vanishing Verse. No attacks. Turn it over. Probably holding on to Vanishing Verse for Runeforge Champion. Yep, especially when they target it with an ability. So no copies of that thing, Kiki Jiki. Get out of here. We'll take care. Generous visitor. That's fine. They don't have any green for Rune of Might. But they do for Rune of Sustenance. Okay. Turn it to night here. We will take that action. Maybe drop the stowaway? Or the graveyard trespasser. 
No, we kind of need the life. I'm going to drop the stowaway. Leave that. Get the spirited companion down just to have it. And another one. That's that's fine. Attack the Moonrage Brute. Okay. Now we get another one of these out. Okay. Okay. Lair does not have trample. This might be about to get trample. And if they have uh, Michiko, the the white plus one plus one saga. Okay. So we're gonna need to block all of this. But that is a second spell, so we're gonna be exiling something with the brute. Okay. That's not game. That might be game. Because if we put one there, three here. We've got no mana left. Four damage is going to come through. And we're at six, so we're going down to two. But we are going to exile this here visitor. Uh, we'll take the action. Beautiful. Discard. Probably companion. Draw for turn. Stow away. Okay. Let's make that here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, damn it. I didn't know the Cathar keeps thinking exiles on the flips. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. And then it'll get another thing when it flips back. Oh, it's so good. So good. I think maybe I turn this over. Take the draw. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna get ooh. I I wanna keep the trespasser and the stowaway. I think maybe we drop the meat hook massacre. I think we can handle this. Especially with Swirling Mist out. I think we're fine. No attacks. That becomes an anthem. Beautiful. March of Swirling Mist. Swirling Mist is friggin' clutch. So yeah, having Celestis and Moon Rage Brute against a deck that wants to play cards over and over. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Ooh, okay, okay. So Borrowed Time is probably going to be their go-to here. And that's going to use up the rest of their mana. So we can march with Swirling Mist whatever they target. Which will mean... It just doesn't target it. And they're, they've are they absolutely got the three life to be willing to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hold control. Let them pay the three life. And then we're going to... Because I want to keep my suspicious stowaway. Only two things. Submit zero. Target you and probably the naturalist. Like that, yep. Yeah. So the naturalist doesn't exist until their turn. They're out of mana. They can absolutely attack into this uh, human here and trade the Kiki Jiki. first do it is the phase the start of the next turn so does moon rage brute are you doing this yes i will 100 take that trade um sure Ooh, to lose hmm 
Do I discard? Probably the stowaway. I think I've got enough of those. Marsh. Excellent. Okay, what's in their bin? A lot of enchantments. So I could Chaplain and Trespasser? Or I could Celestis and Trespasser, Celestis and Toulouse. Toulouse and Celestis, maybe. That's not horrible. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Um. Yeah, I might as well discard that Chaplain. And then that's going to go straight to her. Put this here, and I could chaplain, or I could turn it to knight. Mm -hmm. Get rid of trespasser, get rid of one thing, but they don't really have much recursion. Just turn it to knight again. Draw a card. Uh, just discard the pathway. And that'll go under her. I'm not going to swing, because I need to hopefully keep this as a blocker, just in case. But to lose, I'm more than happy to throw in front of someone. Kami, okay. That's a counter. Then they've got Rune of Speed. That's their second spell. Okay, so that's a 5-4. But our first strike can kill that. Unless they've got one more uh, enchantment, which they might. We basically need to live through this turn. Mirror Breaker. Another enchantment spell and another Scald Trigger. Okay. I'm surprised they're not putting any counters on the naturalist. That's it. Okay. So let's see here. We can chump the naturalist. I already dumped my uh, meat hook massacre, didn't I? Yeah. Planning on her dying anyway. We can't take the eight. We gotta do that there. Unfortunately, they're gonna get all of their other creatures back. Yeah. Take the action, why not? Discard the chaplain. Draw for turn. Huh. Could get to lose back. Could get rid of that Kami. We could certainly play the land. We just destroy this one. Exile it from the bin. And then we've got this stowaway block one, two things, and then take three. Yeah, I think that's that's game. Oh, these rune decks were so close to getting them. So close every time. Okay. Check here. I've got my, um, untap thing up on the other screen, so it's interesting seeing how the matchups look. Huh. Yeah, it's runes. So let me check my... Let me check the deck here. I've been having a little bit of trouble with white mana, so I might need to... 
Hmm. Let's see, what is it? Beach? Deserted beach? Is that right? Not collected. Take those off. Single I gone to. Eh, kind of less. I guess the only reason that's in here is because of the single to lose. Hmm. I'm kind of. Maybe I should only have like two each of the pathways. And then. Maybe turn this marsh into a beach. Turn this hive into a beach. Although at that point I could just get another couple of Rafine's towers in all honesty. I've got a handful of rares. let's drop a couple of or drop a sanctum get a rafine's tower in do that for the mana base okay now runes let's see exile portable holes really good against runes well, i guess i'm not really I'm gonna sideboard with this because I'm still best of one. But yeah, portable hole is really good against runes. Skyclave apparition's alright, but I kinda wanna stick to wolves. See, malevolent hermit. Eh? Could be useful. Maybe we drop a stowaway for it? For one of? Yeah, try that. Let's, let's see how we feel about it. March of Otherworldly Light could be really useful too. Especially against runes. I don't know what I would drop though. Maybe a vanishing verse for it? Mm, no, because vanishing verse is the same thing. Except it's more restrictive. Well, I guess my, my land base is low enough that I probably could drop Shattered Sanctum for a March of Otherworldly Light. Go down to 23 lands, that sounds okay. Looking through here, I don't know what much else I could use. Now, my land base is already pretty friggin' full. Like, also let's check, how balanced is it? A lot more white, yeah. Then maybe I drop these pathways for both of the marshes. I definitely need to keep the white pathways. Yeah. Okay. There's not much Demir colored stuff we need. As far as Orzov goes, we've kind of got the best ones we could have. Maybe a Rite of Oblivion, but I kind of like Vanishing Verse over that, because most of the time, the only things we would sacrifice are a Chaplain that we're already tossing into the bin, or a Spirit of Companion that we only got three of. Or, I guess, oh wait, hold on. Again, I forgot to silence my phone. It's just like a theater, you gotta silence your phone before you go into the stream. Okay. 
maybe do we want a Kaya at the top end? No, I think having the Legion Angel at the top is probably just the best for us. Simple Arsonist. Artifact, instant, or sorcery. So it doesn't even touch creatures. Maybe we check destroy now, just to see. <laughs> Depopulate. I mean, it's not horrible. We do have well, we don't have many multicolored creatures, so that wouldn't just that wouldn't be great for us. Hmm. There's Doom Scar. Which is an alright two mana solution. Path of Peril? Because we got a lot of three drops. Ooh. Ooh, Path of Peril. Mmm. We drop a meat hook. For one. I feel like I want one more, but maybe we'll stop here. We'll stick it here. Okay. Get destroy out of here. Okay. So after, after some revisions, here's what I've got. Uh, one cave, one Igonjo, two planes, one Hall of the Storm Giants, two islands, a hive and a Takanuma. I've got two deserted beaches, uh, two each of the pathways, or two each of the white uh, aligned pathways for our colors, two Shattered Sanctums, four Shipwreck Marshes, and a couple of Rafine's Towers as the land base. We've got three chaplains still, two paladins still, added a march of otherworldly light. We've got two march of swirling mist to help save our stuff. Uh, we've got three spirit companions still to help activate night to day. A malevolent hermit, just as a one of, to again, for some extra protection. Actually, and another thing to discard. Actually, I'm kind of not, not feeling it. No, and we're gonna drop that and go back to the stove. Nope, 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 not you doggo. Sorry doggo, back to this doggo. Uh, so never mind. Screw the old man. We've got four suspicious stowaways still, three vanishing verses, three brutal cathars, three wedding announcements, two trespassers, a path of peril instead of the meat hook massacre, because we've got so many three drops. Uh, we have two katajukis, uh, two obscura charms still, two rafines to lose, two celestis, and a legion angel for the rest of the legion angels. Legion angels in our sideboard. I'm a, I can talk professionally. So yeah. Let's get back into the set here, now that we've adjusted it a little bit. Mm. See how this iteration goes. Okay. Not into the slow start. But this should be fine. Oh, especially against goblins. Oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We've got a land. A chaplain. Unfortunately, when this thing blocks the javelin ear, the javelin ear will still kill it because it's the one damage on getting blocked. It's not first strike or anything. Frostbite. Sure. Absolutely. If that's what you want to do with your mana. Uh, might as well put the marsh down. Bugbear? Okay, that's fine. Let us now get Celestis and another Chaplain, please. <laughs> To help block against the bugbear, or maybe demand some more removal. Uh, March of Swirling Mist is going to be really useful against this deck for when they go for the Alpha Strike. Yeah, 100%. We need to save our life as much as we can. I will take that action. I will discard Kaito because I feel like he's not going to be of much use here. Ooh. I like that Paladin class though. And we're gonna drop the companion because we know it's probably gonna just be a chump locker anyway. Oh, Path of Peril. Okay, here we go. This certainly do that. 
We need the Path of Peril. We drop the Toulouse. We've got more creatures. We're fine. Kumano. Okay. There's another one damage. In that case, just get rid of the Bugbear. Save us three damage. Yeah, they're kind of out of stuff now. Turn. I'll get a companion out. Draw me a land? Not quite. But March of Otherworldly Light is okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll hold on to the March. I guess there is an argument for the Black March as well, because that does gain life. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the one here. Exile you. Awesome. And I think we outdid him. We can drop the March of Swirling Mist at this point. Path of Peril is going to be much more important. Hall and Chapelgeist. I think I'm comfortable where I'm at at this point. This is just going to be a 2 2 with haste. We can take two. Important to note the Path of Peril will destroy our Chapel Shield Geist as well. The sniper. I think it's just time to. I think it's time to probably to hit the path of peril. Probably time to hit the path of peril. One, two, get rid of that. Okay. Go ahead and pop this. Drop the shattered sanctum because we're gonna need some mana. So we've more or less run them out of fuel, but at the same time, we're also kind of out of fuel. Shut sniper. Okay, that's fine. This is a goblin too, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we're going to pop this real quick. We'll, we'll still have the mana to be able to put this chaplain out. Discard our other Celestis. And... We have four mana. You know what? Let's let's not get our last creature out just yet. That. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll drop the hive. I'll drop the hive. Hold on to the vanishing verse. And we are gaining life from the Celestis every time as well. And exile the twin shot sniper. We can save every bit of life we can get. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, man. The extra bits of life from the Celestis are nice. Having the plenty of control that we do. And I still wouldn't consider this a control deck. We, we out-controlled the aggro decks and we... I don't know if we even out-aggro the control decks. Maybe? I haven't fought too many controls so far with... Uh, I guess today I haven't fought many control decks. I have fought them with previous iterations of the deck, and it doesn't go that great. Hmm. Okay. Do we turn one marsh uh, to get Hive out turn two with the stowaway? I think that's probably the play. We got an extra stowaway anyway. We got turn three with a sanctum and the option to hold on to verse. That's gonna get killed. 
Dragons. Okay. It's more dragons. More dragons. So then let Suspicious stow away. See if they want to kill this one too. If they do, it leaves us open to hold up Vanishing Verse after the Spirited Companion. Another one? Yep, which one? Right, climb. Get the companion out. Draw me a card, please. Wedding announcement. Okay, okay. Sue. Profane. Get your dragon. Get it out. There it is. And I bet they have protection for it. Juari Disruption, Negate, all sorts of stuff. Test of Talents. Fading Hope gets them another treasure as well. It's fine. We delayed them a turn. Okay. Ooh, Brutal Cathar. That's a great pickup for us. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I will drop that. And should we start getting rid of their stuff in the bin with Hive? I don't know if I want to... Uh, I don't know if I want to leave myself open like that just yet. The chaplain down. And then, yeah, doing that would turn it to night. And then I don't trust them not having instants to play. For the sake of, like, being able to choose to turn it to... Or leave it at night. Because I need to get rid of this thing. So let's start with the non-spell exile. Excellent. Now we get in there. We'll draw another card. The wedding announcement. And we still have Vanishing Verse held up. They might think it's some kind of counter spell. I did have a single test of talents in this deck in the first iteration. But it didn't seem quite right. Alright. He's gone. Expressive. They I don't want them to have the possibility a greater chance of getting in a uh, counter spell. But I mean, if they've got it, they've got it. They don't got it. Mm. But they still got all four mana. I mean, they didn't have an instant with eight. So, Let's see where that goes. Maybe we do activate the hive. Maybe we gotta start getting under. Start dropping these Prismari commands, maybe. Moldering Egg. Okay. That's an option. Yeah. Let's start getting in there. Uh. Actually, I'll get rid of Expressive Iteration first, honestly. The Smoldering Egg's gonna be a problem, though. I mean, also, the, the Hall of Storm Giants will be a problem. They can still activate that if they want to, and we are wide open. They only need five more mana spent left into a uh, another spell. Egg. But once this hive of the Eye Tyrant, it has menace, but with the anthem, it's going to be a 4 4. than, like, burn the house down. Or more, or, like, Thundering Rebuke, more Dragon's Fires. They've got enough mana to have really anything here. And it'll work out. No attacks? Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's a great pick. that immediately though 
We will get this out on blue, I think. Drop the wedding announcement. See if they want to counter it. No counter there. Swing it with everything, because they got no damaging blockers, so we'll get at least two damage in. Okay. Marcher Swirling Mist should be at least a little helpful. Okay. I like Legion Angel. I can work with the Legion Angel. I really love that you only need one of these in your deck for it to work. Okay. This I can work with. Do they have any other spells? I'll take the four here. That's fine. As soon as they want to cast a spell, I'm going to phase those little duders out. Which then will open us up to attack for potentially lethal. Just like that. Let's see if they've got a counter spell. A single drawer disruption would kind of ruin us. Okay, so I guess they have contingencies. Swing all these in, maybe? Exile the other expressive iteration. Do they have it? If they can get rid of the hive, which a single dragon's breath could do. Is this... The blue flashback one? Oh, they're dig. Oh! The Hall of the Storm Giants. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is gonna take them down to one. Yep. That down on white. Your chaplain out. Ooh, 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 Okay. This is sketchy. Because we can block something big with... Okay, let's have a swoon peg. This is dangerous. We can block a hall of storm giants with the chaplain. One, or one, two, three, four, five, six, which that would take up all of their mana. They want to cast a five mana spell to get one of these to hatch. If they could do that, then we would be able to block either of the other things in the air. Then if they had a one mana spell like one of the fading hopes. Moving to combat. Ooh, moving through combat. Okay. So they've got... How do I force this issue? If I do this again, they're gonna double block it with the hall, the gold span, and the other three they can block with the eggs. And then they can crack back. I think. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I got seven. I can do Legion Angel and Rafine. If I attack with just the human, then I'll have uh, a bunch of 3 threes. Maybe that's what I do. Legion Angel. Maybe they counter it. They counter that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now we attack with one of you. Gold Span's going to block it. Yep, that's fine. And then we get Rafine out. That, okay, 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 okay. But now they just need three or five mana stuff, spells in order to get these as flyers. God, they're so close to death. One, two, three, four, five, 
three, four, five, six. They only have two mana on top of activating Hall of Storm Giants. These chaplains have ward, Rafine has ward. So targeting these is gonna cost them an extra mana each. God, these are really nice. There is the argument to having played Kaito to get the unblockable out, which is probably what I should have done, now that I think about it. But even then, they've got Prismari Commands, they got Dragon Fires, Fading Hope would have gotten rid of it immediately. I don't know what they have in hand, but it's got to be... I mean, if they had burned down the house, they would have they done it already. I mean, I blocked this, right? Or do they just want to deal two damage to it? Because I can take four. I can take four right now. And now if they have a three or five mana spell, they can get one or three more dragons. Oh. Okay. Well, that's some dragons then. Turn you like that, okay. I can't. So, I, Obscure a Charm is very nice. But I can't do it and the hive. I think I'm dead here. So I, I do uh, destroys oh with mana value well these are two mana these are two mana value so I can destroy them but I can only do one and then they've got two blockers for each of the chaplains and oh god if I had one more mana I could do this perfectly so I think I just get rid of this thing now. Force the issue here. They're gonna block with both. Or maybe... Another thing I could have done is just attacked and then tried to draw with Kaito get out. to hope. Nope, okay. There's no yep. Secret I can't Try and hope to get the Graveyard Glutton. Oh, that was a close game. That was a really close game. We had them literally down to one. 